Hi, it's Caitlin from Streets Ahead Style and I am here with a brand that I've never shared on my channel before. So I'm very, very excited to have swatches of the Tonic Polish Late Summer 2020 Nail Polish Collection. But in something new and a new twist for my channel, I have lip swatches as well of their new Tonic Transform Balm, which is like a hybrid between a lip balm and a lipstick. I have them in my hands and I'm dropping them and just like an incredibly awesome product. I'm actually wearing one of my lips right now. I'm wearing bubble gum, so you can watch that. I have that at the end of the video, but um, the Tonic Late Summer 2020 collection will be available at the Girly Bits website from September 4th through the 12th, and you can pre-order them. I have all the details in my blog post down below. I have a blog post for the nail polish, and then I have a blog post for the transform sticks. And um, yeah, I'll just get into the swatches. All right, I'm starting off with Tonic Polish Angel Parade. So for those of you who are familiar with Tonic Polish, you'll know they have a whole bunch of multi-chrome multi parade polishes, and this continues in that family. This one is described as a super pigmented gold to silver multi-chrome. And wow, this one is super opaque in just two coats. Um, I did find I had a little bit of brush strokes visible after it dried, so I would recommend thin coats and try to be as even as possible. Um, but I think I went a bit too thick and that's probably why you could see some of the brush strokes, but it's an absolutely gorgeous polish and you can see the shift here is just phenomenal. Tonic is known for their multi-chromes and Angel Parade is really no exception. It is absolutely gorgeous and here I've got it, um, it's not the prettiest video, but it really does show off the shift so you can get a really good sense of how this looks because pictures don't do it justice. Um, you really do need to see it in person. So next up is I'm So Fresh and this one is super interesting. So it's described as a glowing mint green shimmer and it's addition it's an addition to the tonic i'm so fancy base coat lineup so this is actually like a base coat um it's the same formula as they use in their french undies it's supposed to strengthen smooth and protect your natural nail but also help with polish wear time so you could definitely put this under any of the gorgeous um polishes that you're going to see in the collection or you know just wear it on its own if you want something to protect your nail, but something that's also not just a plain clear base coat. So as you can see, I applied three coats. You could, like I said, do one coat, but it applied very evenly, very easily. And next up we have Hot Guava. So the video is not color accurate whatsoever. This polish, I could not for the life of me capture it accurately. It's described as a neon coral. Um, it's a part of the neon bright family of colors from Tonic and it applied so easily in just two coats. It's like so neon and so bright. Um, I would say on the nails, it really does come off as a coral. It's a little more orangey than my photo show. It's just so, so, so bright. And the formula is great in just two coats. And another one of their neon brights is Manic Panic. And this is just an amazing purple. It's a really beautiful, um, bright. I mean, it's not quite neon. It's more of a bright but it is um, a touch more warm than my video is showing it. It's a really interesting color. I think the photos that you're gonna see are accurate, um, but it's an amazing polish. Again, two coats, you need top coat to make it glossy. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, and here is Tonic Polish Facet Nading, and this one is, um, so beautiful so you can wear it on its own like i show here in three coats or you can use it as a topper which i also show in the video and in my blog post it's described as a super shifty red to gold to green multi-chrome with same kind of multi-chrome flakes and also iridescent blue flakes which really 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 pop on the nail and you're gonna see here in my finger dance um just what i'm talking about and in the shade these iridescent flakes look so cool they 
literally glow off the nail. So just watch and be amazed by this beautiful polish. So in these first two photos, that's fascinating on its own in three coats. And then I put it over Manic Panic because it just made sense. It was purple and it really complemented it well. It looked really good together. And I saved my favorite for last. So this one is Tonic Polish Starlit Dawn. And it is absolutely beautiful. It's super ethereal, super delicate. And the shimmer is like out of control beautiful um, it's described as having a tiny bit of scattered hollow mixed with a ton of peach to red iridescent shimmer and flakes that shift to yellow and green and it really does make for a fiery ethereal polish that also builds up on its own in three coats like i show but i also show it as a topper and honestly you could probably put this over any polish and it would work it works really well over dark colors and light colors and i didn't do it but um, Amy from Tonic Nail Polish, one of the makers, was suggesting that you could put it over the I'm So Fresh undies base coat, which I don't know why I didn't think of that. That's a brilliant combination. All right, and now for something completely different. Tonic has a new Transform stick, which is basically their version of a lipstick. It's a bit of a cross between a lip balm and a lipstick, but it's cruelty-free, which is awesome. It's also indie, so it's definitely not made with the same chemicals as a regular lipstick, and the colors are unlike anything I have ever seen from a mainstream brand. So, there are six of them that I have here, and and I don't know if you can see me doing this. Let me see. Okay. So here is Beetle. And this one is like, it's almost like a multi-chrome nail polish, but for your lips, but safe for your lips. So as you can see, it's very shifty. I'm gonna move my head around and hopefully I don't look like a complete bird, but um, it's very shifty. Um, it applies super easily out of the tube and very evenly, which is incredible for a lipstick like this. I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, I actually love this color so much. I think it's very pretty, very pretty for fall. Oh, and I will also say that um, all the descriptions of the lipstick and the prices for the Girly Bits website will be included in my blog post. So I'll have a blog post specifically for the lipsticks and that will be included below. Um, so you can check that out. Okay, next up I'm going to try Sparked, which is basically clear, but it has like a really pretty gold red shift in it, which is like cool to have a lip balm because these are very moisturizing and nice, but to have a little something extra added is super cool. So. Here we go, applying this one. So I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I can definitely see it. And it's definitely adding just like a little bit of shimmer and sparkle, which is very pretty and flattering, at least on my skin tone. And it actually matches my copper gold eyeshadow. So yeah, it's really nice. Oh, I also have lipstick on my tooth, so I'm clearly a pro at this. <laughs> Sparked. I'm loving this. I feel like I'm just going to wear this all the time. Next, I'm going to do bubblegum. I did try these before, and I think bubblegum is probably my favorite because I love bright pink, and this actually reminds me of an indie, cruelty-free, awesome version of MAC Show Orchid, which I've loved for years, and, you know, everybody in my house loves it, so... I think it's really cool to have something sort of like that, but cruelty free. And um, yeah, I'm very excited. So I'll show you this one. It 
See what I mean? I just love pink. I love hot pink and this applies like an absolute dream. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to need a couple of these because this is really nice on the lips. It's very subtle, but there's that blue shift. Um, at least it's subtle for me. But yeah, I really like this one and they're just so comfortable on your lips and um, they wear really well too, which is super awesome. I didn't mention that earlier, but I wore one of these for like eight hours and I ate, I drank, and it basically was on my lips still as much as any other lipstick. So good job, Tonic. <laughs> okay, next I'm gonna go with Velvet, which in the tube is so gorgeous. Um, this one's really cool. I'm going to apply it. So you can see what I mean, um, how it applies very evenly. And this kind of just gives like a really pretty finish on the lips without adding too much color, but there is quite a bit of shimmer and it's gold and shifty and really, really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to use Gilded, which is like a gold grainy shade, which is probably turning you off when I describe it, but just trust me when you see it on my lips. So this one's really cool too. Okay, I'm gonna take this off and then I have one last one to show you. Um, from what I recall, this one might've been the hardest to get even like the others, I didn't have any issue, but I think like I've never had a black lipstick that hasn't been challenging to apply, but I could be eating my words. So we shall see. The video will not lie on this. <laughs> okay. So this is Starry Night, and I think I must have misremembered because I really didn't have any issue applying this one. My advice would be like, don't smack your lips a ton because it will sort of move around the shimmer and the glitters. But if you just apply it out of the tube, I mean, I just applied it out of the tube and I think it looks pretty good. I think that these look really, really beautiful. And even on my like thin little lips, I think they're pretty. Um, I think they're gonna look gorgeous I mean, I can't speak for how it's going to look like on other skin tones, but I really do think that there's something for everybody here. And that's what I really like about this set of six. I think that the shades are very inclusive. I mean, yeah, I think everybody's going to find something they like, whether you just want like literally a tiny, tiny hint of sparkle from Sparked, or you want to go pink, you could do bubblegum. And then of course, all of the other ones are just so unique and beautiful and I'm really happy to have amazing, gorgeous lip colors from an indie brand. Like I said, that's cruelty-free. They do have beeswax, so they're not vegan, but um, the ingredient list is very clean. They have moisturizing properties. All of that's included in the blog post. But yeah, I have more details down below about the tonic release and the details for purchasing them at the Girly Bits website. And they will be available, of course, on the actual Tonic website starting on September 4th at 2 p.m. Central Time. So you can grab the Transform Sticks and the Late Summer 2020 Nail Polish Collection as well. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you're intrigued by these Transform Sticks, if you would try any of them, and then of course which of the nail polish colors you were liking the best. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching! Bye!